How to grow potato in a small box. Hello, welcome to Seven Seven's Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to grow a potato in a small box. So I have two boxes here. Uh, we can grow uh, potatoes in the individual boxes, but I want to show you if you don't have a lot of space, uh, to maximize the space that you have, we can grow it uh, vertically in the same box. So we're going to grow potatoes in this box. We're going to try to cut the top like that. Uh, take out the top on the top one and the and the uh, on the bottom on the top one and then we just take out the top on the bottom one so we're gonna have a stack together like that so we're gonna have vertical growing on this two boxes in one spot so uh, let's get started and uh, let me show you what we're gonna do so one important thing you want to make sure that the, the box that you're using is a sturdy strong box like this one and you also want to make sure that you don't use boxes that have like the shiny coating uh, that has plastics if there's hasn't plastics or tapes you want to take the plastics out and also want to make sure that you don't you don't use boxes that had chemicals in them that would uh, that might leak into uh, the soil or into your uh, plant that you're growing so uh, those are the things that you want to take into consideration you want a box that is um deep enough you want it to be at least eight inches deep um so that way it, it has a lot of room for the uh potatoes to grow and you also want to make sure that um it can easily withstand the weight of the soil that you put in there so this is a steady strong box so now we cut the top of the um the box off this is um the top that we've cut and here we've cut the uh, this one so we cut both of them and so we're just gonna put um, let me show you how it's gonna be we're gonna put this hollow one here on top of the um, the one that has the cut on the top and that's how it's gonna be and then we're gonna fill it up and we're gonna plant our to uh, potatoes inside so I move it to the location where it's gonna be so well, what we're going to do next is put it in a position where it's going to grow. So I'm going to put it over here where it's going to grow over here. And uh, and just all I'm going to do is just, it has, uh, since it's a box, the water is going to come out easily. I don't, I don't need to make any holes um, since they already have some holes on the side. So it's going to leak out uh, any excess water by itself. So what we're going to do next is start filling it up with our organic material. The first thing I'm going to just do is have my some leaves. Just going to put some leaves there. Just put some leaves there like that. That's fine. And the next thing we're going to do is going to put in some compost. Spread it like that. So what we're gonna do next is uh, put in some. Uh, I have my warm castings, organic fertilizer. And I'm gonna add my. Organic fertilizer mix, which is made up of rock dust, um, some nitrogen, some calcium, and other organic fertilizers. I have a link uh, in the, uh, below that uh, gives you, shows you all the organic fertilizers I use in the garden. Um, check out my Amazon shop for more organic fertilizers. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, plant. Um, since we're going to set that as our foundation, we're going to plant the potatoes, then put the rest of the soil on top. So what we're going to do next is get our potatoes. So I have some leftover potatoes over here, as you can see. So I cut the, I separated them and I cut them. And I also use a wood ash to coat the bottom so that way um, insects or disease or something doesn't get into it. So what I'm going to do is like that. 
Just give it a little bit of space. I'm gonna plant about six in here. It's another one, just like that. This one looks like an old one that I don't know if it's gonna come out, but it's very tiny. So that is it. So the next thing we're gonna do is add more compost to it. So if you want, you can use potting mix, but uh, compost is fine. Good compost from the compost pile is good. Just close this. So, so we're just gonna add more. That's it. So what we're gonna do next is water it first before we add any more, just so that it, it uh, soaks the seeds. So what we're gonna do is put the next layer of cardboard which is this right here so we're just gonna put it on top like that okay that would be so then we can add our Compost material. This is also from the compost pile. Uh, organic materials in there. You can see the worms. See organic material. You can see the worms in there. So, and I'm gonna put. Add a little bit more. And that is it. So we'll leave it like that. Maybe later on we can add uh, more organic compost. And all our stuff to it once it start growing to providing more nutrients in the middle of the growing season so that's it all we have to do right now is just water and wait okay so what you want to do is to make sure you water it regularly um you want to make sure that the soil stays moist so that is the uh, seedlings can germinate and grow and uh, uh, depending on the temperature and sometimes you might need more watering uh, depending on the temperature. So just so you guys know, um, if you're just planting a box by itself, uh, not stacking them high like this, you can put, you can plant two or three in the in the box. But since I'm going vertical and the new is nutrient dense uh, soil, I planted six in here because they're gonna grow up and the soil is really good. So what I'm doing right now is just adding some uh, leaves on top of it just to. Uh, maintain the moisture and also prevent weeds from coming out from the uh, from the top. Here is the container, the box. After a couple of weeks, as you can see, I'm gonna just add a little bit more compost to it since it's ground full now. I'm gonna fill up the box and should be all good to go. I'm gonna fill it up again with. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
compost. So just make sure that we don't cover, cover the leaves, we can up to the leaves so that the stems can continue. And that should be, that should be fine. And that is it. So we'll just let it grow, just water it regularly. And uh, hopefully within a month, uh, uh, sorry, within two months, from now, I should be able to harvest. Okay, uh, stay tuned for updates on this. Um, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Happy growing.